I describe the film as a success story. It's about a young man who's unemployed at the beginning of the film and at the end is the owner of a thriving business. I've been um, giving all these interviews and uh, I've been overly complimentary uh, the, today about uh, for particularly Dan's writing, but I think essentially that was the first thing. What drew me the role was that there was a, a five-dimensional, um, in incredibly complex, uh, fascinating uh, character at the center of this beautifully written screenplay that, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't read, you don't read things like this really ever. And so at first it was just this extraordinary character and this play, this screenplay. And then it was meeting Dan and his mind and seeing his vision and uh, what he wanted to do and how he wanted to tell the story and how it was, um, it wasn't just about what was on the page. It was about how he saw the entire world and his point of view about Los Angeles and everything else in the entire world and the stratosphere and everything beyond. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. I, I described it as a success story. The first time I met Jake was in Atlanta. We went out to dinner. And, you know, I think you obviously love the script. How do I see the movie? Well, how do you see the movie? And I said, I see it as a success story. And you broke into the biggest smile. And I was like, that's exactly the way I see this movie. Yeah. And that started a journey, a creative journey between the two of us that is still continues. I mean, we're still ex always exchanging ideas. And uh, that's, I think, the... I have a relatively contradictory nature, and so when someone tells a story, or there's this, uh, you know, you read a screenplay, and then the director comes in and says, "Well, my ideas are exactly that. I want to tell that, but then there's this whole other thing that's contradicting everything I did right. or everything I wrote." Right. I go, "I want it. That's exactly." Yeah. So that that really, when you first said that, I thought, "Oh, that such was a that, that was it." Yeah. That fish place. Yeah. <laughs> that fish place. No, I mean, I actually came off the hill to do this part because it was amazing and usually I just like I'm in a hole somewhere you know I mean it, it's just such an amazing part and I thought I, I mean I don't I don't do many films just because they're not interesting and so Danny said I'm going to write you a part I said oh, okay, okay fine and then I read it was like, oh, oh sure fine. yeah sure you are write a part for me <laughs> working with Jake is like driving a Ferrari I mean it's like I didn't it wasn't, one I didn't want to crash it two I wanted to get the most out of it, and and really, it was a, it was a learning curve. I mean, I, I I went in openly and I said, there, I know what I don't know, I know what I don't know, and I want to collaborate with people who know what I don't know. And and I very much saw it as a collaboration, both with Jake and Renee and with Riz. Um, that was really for me the way that I got through it on every moment. I was there, lost in LA, much like the character of, of Rick. <laughs> And my agent kind of um, said, you know, meet, meet, you know, Dan. And we met up at this really random place. Coral Tree Cafe. Exactly. Sam Big shout out to Coral Walmart. Tree Cafe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sponsored yeah, by, sponsored well. by, shout exactly. Out to, shout out to Coral Tree. Yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, and he just kind of spoke to me about the character and, and how he saw this character. And I just thought he just had such a clear vision for it that, that, that really I mean he, he, he got me the role when I put myself on tape it really taken me through the psychology of the character um, and how he saw it and he just had a very strong uncompromising vision um, and he was like don't be afraid to kind of push the envelope and, and go further and further I still haven't seen the film but from what I hear you know he's kept held on to that kind of mentality in making just to go behind the scenes of that story Jake and I, because Jake was actively involved in the casting, I think we probably saw 50 people, maybe more, who weren't even close. And Riz came in and won it so handily and so quickly that... Oh, and I have a story. Okay, so I was with my daughter and like, Dan would go, come here and look at this person and that person. Yeah, you see the and it was like exciting to do that, because yeah. usually I'm like the person that somebody's looking at. And we would go, I don't think Danny, I don't think. He goes, what about this person? Rosie and I were liter literally standing together it was, we were five seconds into it, and we went, that's it, done, right away, that's it. Five seconds into that's it. That's why you have this film. Me and Rosie, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but it really was, she was just like, wow. yeah. He came in, and I was like, we did it like ten times. I was like, eh, I'm still not <laughs> totally <laughs> convinced. I, I wasn't like sleeping like with the director to begin with, but <laughs> soon, within a week of shooting, it was, uh, things ran their course. <laughs>